Hello guys, back today with another video where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make good looking gaming logos for you to use for free. So this is if you don't um, have Photoshop, uh, all you have to do is go to pixlr.com slash editor. I will leave the link in the description below. The first thing you're going to do is press create a new image, change the width and height to, by, to 600 by 600, change the name into however you'd like. In this case, I'm going to name this game logo. Press OK. And then now, search up black PNG and save any um, background that's entirely black. After you save it, go back to Pixlr, press File, Open Image, select your file and press Open. Now, press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, press Close, press No, and then press Ctrl V. Now what you're going to have to do is press edit, free transform, and, and resize it until it fills the entire logo. Now what you're going to have to do is click new layer, press the drawing tool, press the ellipse tool, change the border size to 30, deselect fill shape, and change uh, these colors to white. Now what you're going to have to do is create the best circle you can make and after that press edit, free transform and try to center it to the middle. After you're done with that, click off, press yes and uh, press the type tool and type in whatever is the very first letter in your gaming name. In this case I'm going to type in A, change the font. Uh, Change the font to whatever font you want. In this case, I'm going to choose American Captain. You can uh, get this font in thefont.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. Anyways, uh, change the size to 170. Press OK. Now right click, rasterize layer, edit, and free transform. Now transform the letter until while pressing shift so it, um, so it fills so it overlaps with the circle. Click off, press yes. Now select the circle. Uh, ch choose the eraser tool. Change the brush, ch brush type to 31. Click off. And take out any, any line that connects in with the letter. After you're done, search up uh, red and try to find any red file that looks good to you. After you save it, go back to Pixlr, press file, open image, uh, select your red image, control A, control C, press close, press no, and can then control V. Now edit the, um, make sure to put the red file over A, uh, over your letter, press edit, free transform and transform it until uh, it overlaps with your letter. After you're done with that, press yes, select your letter, press wand tool, and click on your letter, right click and press add layer mask. Now what you can do is delete your um, letter that's below uh, this, now what you're going to have to do is uh, choose whatever type of game you play often or whatever um, game you, you like. In this case, I'm doing Call of Duty, even though I don't really play it. Now save whatever photo you like. Go back to Pixlr, file, open image, select your file, open, control A, control C, close, no, and then control V, and resize the picture until and to what you want. After you're done with that, click off, press yes, and drag the layer until it reaches below the, uh, the black image. Now select that black image, 
press toggle layer settings and change the opacity to 75. After you're done with that, click it again so it goes off. Click uh, your letter, right click, layer styles, change the outer glow to black, change the hardness to 1 and the size to 35, press OK. Now press the ring, change the outer glow to black too, and do the same exact settings as you did to the letter. Now if you'd like, press inner shadow, change the opacity um, down to 45, and change the size to 30. Press OK. And now what you could do is press the brush tool, change the brush diameter to 999, and the hardness to 0, add a new layer, um, above the A, and then, then you draw that. And so now it looks like a glowing light, and then you're all set. What you guys could do is press fall, save it, and then change the quality all the way up to 100, and press OK. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did like this, then please subscribe, like, or comment. Uh, comment down what other tutorials you'd like to see, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.